Hi there, it's Jimmy McIntyre here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a great method for color correction in Photoshop so that we can remove unwanted color casts, like the blue color cast you see in this image, for colors which are more natural in your imagery. <laughs> We're going to teach Photoshop what our white point is, what our black point is, and what our gray point is, and Photoshop will adjust the colors throughout the image accordingly. To do that, we can do it very quickly by opening up a curves adjustment layer and choosing the white eyedropper tool that you see here. And essentially, we just choose a highlight in our image that we think should represent the white point, and we'll choose it there. Next, we establish our black point by going to the eyedropper tool at the top, and we go to the darkest part of our image, which is about here, and you'll see that Photoshop has changed some of the coloring and by default some contrast. Next, we establish our gray point by choosing the middle eyedropper tool and clicking where we think our gray point should be, so maybe around there. Now you'll see Photoshop has completely eradicated the blue color cast, but it's a little bit strong. We can always adjust the opacity as we see fit to come to the right color. However, we can also do this in a more precise way. So let me undo these changes and show you how to do this with more precision. Open up the curves adjustment layer again, and now open up the threshold layer that you see here. Everything will go black and white, and we're gonna establish our white point first by moving our slider all the way to the right and moving it gently to the left until some, some white speckles appear. And those very first white speckles, which are around here, represent our highlights, or in other words, our white points. Now we're going to go to the eyedropper tool to the left and move down to the color sampler tool and click on that. Press the color sampler tool once on the white point area. And this will just mark the area. It doesn't do anything else except for layer marker so that we can return to it later. Now, we're gonna go back to our threshold layer and we're gonna move our slider to the far left. And now we're gonna establish a black point. So moving it to the right, the first speckles that appear, they are our black point. Let's do it slowly. And I think it's around about here. That's our black point. Now, it is impossible to establish a gray point using the threshold layer yet. What we have to do is add another step to it. So to begin with, we open up a new layer and we have to go to edit, fill and 50% gray and press OK. Now we go to the blend mode difference. The blend mode difference looks at the image that we have selected or the layer we have selected and compares it pixel by pixel with the layer below. And anything that's identical to the pixel above will be black. And anything that's close to the pixel above will be dark. So now all of our 50% gray area, which essentially is what this layer is, is now rendered as black or anything close to 50% is rendered as black. So turning the threshold layer on again, we can look just like we did when we established our black point and move our slider to the left and look for the 50% gray point. It's a little bit strong, but I know where it is. I'm going to zoom in and choose the color sampler tool again. And I'm going to choose somewhere around here. Full screen. And now we're going to remove the threshold layer and the 50% gray layer, and we're gonna work with curves, just like we did before, to establish more accurate white, black, and gray points. So I don't need this selected. I choose the white eyedropper and select that. Now I'm gonna move, oops, wrong slider. Now I'm gonna move down to the black point and choose that. Oops, that's an accident. I still have my white eyedropper selected, so my apologies, and go to the black point. And finally, we're gonna move up to the 50% gray point, which is somewhere around here. There it is. Choose our gray eyedropper and click it there. 
And now, again, we've removed the color cast and we have our more accurate colors. So this is what I decided looked more accurate in the original image. And you can see that's very close to it now. And again, if you're not happy with the way the, the color correction has worked, you can change the opacity very easily and choose which color suits you. Obviously, the final image isn't a true representation of, of the, the scene I saw itself. It's a composite, but this is exactly what I used to get to the original colors in the scene. And then I opened up the highlights simply by using a, a luminosity mask and it opened up the image in general by doing that. To finish this tutorial, I'm just going to right click and delete each point because we no longer need them. And that's it. A great method to color correct in Photoshop. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Until next time, see you later.